Thank you, uh, Ingrid. So I'm representing uh, Bio4Fuels, which is uh, the perspective from Norway. Bio4Fuels is a national center in Norway, Norwegian Center for Sustainable Bio-Based Fuels and Energy. Um, I'm the director, but also a research director at SINTEF, which is a research organization in Norway. As I say, Bio4Fuels is a national center, and it uh, involves uh, seven research institutes uh, in Norway. The host institute is NMBU, and the uh, IS Center leader uh, worked together with NMBU in uh, directing and organizing the center. And I must say it's a pleasure to be here together with the other three centers. We've been talking about uh, having a common uh, platform, so it's, it's nice to be able to achieve this uh, today. Um, why do we have a center, uh, Bio4Fuels? If you look at the Norwegian perspective in terms of emissions, so you see that um, the transport sector has a very large contribution in terms of emissions. And so this is an important uh, focus area in terms of trying to reduce uh, emissions uh, to meet uh, future targets. And these have been tracked quite closely, so you can see that uh, uh, um, uh, the road transport has a major imp impact on it, but I mean, uh, it's been increasing over a period of time, but uh, there is some reduction as uh, focus on different policies uh, are beginning to take effect. But this is the background for the fact that we have a center. And there are concrete targets which have been set with respect to uh, blending in biofuels uh, uh, nationally. And you can see that these have been increased, increasing all the time. There's a focus on getting more and more advanced biofuels blended into uh, the transport sector. And later, I think the Norwegian um, Environmental Agency will say a little bit more on that. But this is the driver for the fact that we have a center in Norway. And Anders mentioned that this is a, a, an area that uh, often uh, is uh, of de hot debate, and this is uh, also the case in Norway. And for us as a center, it's important to, say, to show that um, the activities that we have are based on a platform of different policy instruments. So it goes all the way back to the original uh, climate policy pact uh, in the 80s, uh, and all the different policies which have been uh, set in place, which show the importance of having the production of biofuels uh, in Norway. And as a center, um, we are part of what's called uh, Research Centers for Environmental Friendly Research in, uh, on Energy. And we have eight centers, which are instruments which are to promote research and development and innovation within areas and technology related to reducing uh, climate emissions. So this is us as a center focused on biofuels, and we also have one center which also has focus on other transport, uh, zero emission transport um, areas. So this is the vision for biofuels enabling sustainable biofuels production in Norway. And compared to um, Finland and Sweden, we are coming from a lower base. So research in this area is very important. This is a center which is a, um, a collaboration between research institutes and different stakeholders in order to lay the basis for production of biofuels in Norway. An important part of our activities is the issues of sustainability because of the uh, debate that we have. So that is a major focus within the center. And then we have identified uh, an overall value chain in doing research that will help support and uh, help uh, uh, companies and industries establish production of bi uh, biofuels uh, in Norway. And our starting point are Nordic bioresources, which is why we've um, sought to uh, collaborate both with uh, uh, centers in, Nor in uh, Sweden and in uh, Finland. This is an overview of our stakeholders. We have almost 50 stakeholders involved, um, and we cover the value chain again that we have established in the center. So from bioresources, I mean access to the feedstocks and the issues around that, uh, we are supporting uh, different uh, companies that are developing technology in Norway. Um, 
and also in order to make sure that we have uh, access to as much um, um, knowledge as possible, so we also are in, we also have a, quite a number of international companies and stakeholders involved. And then we have our end users who would then eventually be the benefits of the uh, production of uh, biofuels. One very um, important part of the uh, section of the stakeholders are government and state organizations as well. So a lot of the regional authorities also see the importance of um, supporting the center, so, uh, so they're very much involved in our activities. And these are our ambitions. The most important thing is to set the framework and support the establishing of the production of biofuels. And uh, through the activities of the center, through all the events that we arrange and the research we carry out together with our stakeholders, uh, this is one area that, um, that is really showing benefit. Our goal is to support establishing pilots and demo plants in Norway and also contributing to what is the barrier for production of biofuels, and that is the cost in terms of uh, uh, CAPEX and uh, OPEX. Uh, one area where we have really shown great success is in, in building the portfolio of activities around our center. Our center is a small part of all the research that's going on in Norway, and we do a lot of work in trying to leverage this, these activities through associated projects. So this is our core value chains, and uh, we're very focused on helping to establish production so that uh, we're focused on the relevant value chains that can be realized in Norway. So we have at the moment uh, three major value chains on the liquefaction processes, uh, a variety of biochemical processes, and, and then the gasification value chain. And then as part of this, we have the activities around the availability of resources, um, the impact on the climate, and so forth. And then an activity looking at supporting, establishing um, eventual production in terms of end use and testing the fuels. So this is the complete picture for our activities in, in the center. We've been running for just over two years now, and we're starting to count the achievements that we have. I think one of our greatest success here is to show the portfolio of projects that we are, um, those that are involved in the center are involved in. So this, the uh, biofuels here, a lot of our partners are heavily involved in activities in uh, Horizon 2020, as well as a number of uh, other national projects. And we have about 33 people that are involved in the center. So the goal, the center is going to run for eight years, and. Uh, we're going to support and increase our collaboration across uh, our Scandinavia and the Nordics. So if you are interested in more information, please contact us here. And uh, we look forward to the conference and collaborating with F3 and Supergen. <laughs>